a, a small note when talking about CFD crypto investing and real crypto investing. Uh, our business is in CFDs, and uh, I don't want to promote uh, CFDs and say, okay, don't invest in real crypto, go to CFDs. It's not like that. Uh, I, I really, I honestly think that if you really want to back a crypto project, if you really want to back it up, and you're not into speculation, you're not there to just make money, but you really believe in it, you should definitely uh, go real crypto and go buy real cryptocurrency or uh, invest into that blockchain with real crypto. However, if you're a speculator and you're into, into trading, CFDs can give you a lot of benefits that cryptocurrencies cannot give you. Like, for example, uh, CFD companies are regulated, your funds are segregated uh, in, in banks, so you cannot uh, you know, get hacked and lose them or whatever. Uh, another another big mistake is that you can actually when you if you make profits you can you, it's going to be very easy for you to turn your profits back to fiat. Whereas with cryptocurrencies, I don't know about the rest of the world, but for example in Europe, it's really difficult if you have big amounts of crypto profits. First of all, there is a tax authorities that are going to come after you about money laundering or whatever. Then there is the, your bank is not going to is going to refuse uh, to you know credit your profits or convert your cryptocurrency to your account. They're going to close your account. These problems don't exist in CFD companies. So if you find a good regulated uh, CFD company, you can speculate in uh, cryptocurrencies. And if you make profits, you're not gonna have any problems with that. Also, there is no problem, there is no need to understand the technology because you, when you're not really buying any real crypto, you don't have to understand what's a ledger, cold storage, and how the blockchain works, and what do I do, what's my wallet, and how do I use my wallet? There's nothing like that, you just, it's, it's, it's it's like uh, having an, any brokerage account, you deposit funds, you find the cryptocurrencies that you're interested in speculating, you buy and sell them, and all your, uh, your account is in your base currencies, in Euro or USD or whatever. Uh, I guess that's it, I mean. <laughs>